Yo, I'm Bob, that totally blind guy since birth who is into shows like Batman, the animated series. For those of you who are totally blind, that's what I'm holding in my hands, volume one on DVD. So I bet you guys can all guess what this video is going to be about. And if you like what you see and hear in this vlog-ish video, you can like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and do share the vids if and when you think about it. It helps the channel tremendously. I wanted to take a couple of minutes and discuss how much this gem of an animated series impacted me as a 90s kid and how much it still does as a fan of all things comics to this day. I remember being nine years of age in 1992. We got basic cable for the first time and we didn't get Fox though. We didn't get Vox until 1995, so I wanted to watch Fox. I had to go to Memphis, Tennessee on spring breaks and summer breaks and watch Batman the Animated Series at either my dad's house or my grandma's house because they got Fox on their basic cable. I don't know why we didn't. That was so weird. I, I should do a little bit of research, go down that rabbit hole at some point. So... The first Batman the Animated Series episode I watched was Off Balance, and I remember the score blowing me out of my seat, and I remember my mom sitting there over spring break during 1993 while I was at my grandma's, and she was just blown away by by the art in, in the animated intro there. She has always been... A fan of, of animation and art and things like that and I got a really cool family you know my mom and my grandma they were never folks who were like oh Bob you can't watch this show because you'll probably go out and and start crashing cars into things and robbing banks and things like that oh it'll it'll turn you into a criminal oh it's evil there they were never like that I just played with the action figures and that was it you know they they knew me better than that so yeah, they, they actually sat and they watched the episode and I remember I remember getting hooked. I remember listening to Kevin Conroy's portrayal, listening to a portrayal, I guess I can use that, <laughs> uh, listening to his, uh, his Batman voice there and that right then and there became my definitive Batman. Same way Mark Hamill uh, became the definitive Joker for me when I watched Christmas with the Joker. That was my first Joker episode that I'd ever watched. I watched that about a year later. So, I mean, the voice work was, and still is, spectacular. And I I like the films pretty well, but, I mean, you, you watch three films and then you're done. You can only watch a couple of movies so many times, but we got 109 episodes of of Batman the Animated Series, and we got some great, great antagonists in that show. Complex antagonists. I think the first complex character, complex antagonist that I remember coming into contact with as a kid was Victor Freeze, Mr. Freeze in Heart of Ice. I remember, I don't know how it worked out the way that it did, but I had just gotten the Mr. Freeze action figure from the animated series. I think my grandma had found him and she was like, this guy looks really cool. I'm going to get this. You, you need to see what this guy looks like. You like Batman, don't you? You know, I, I know you watch the show. And I said, yeah. So I open him and, and the episode plays either that day or the day after I get the action figure. And I mean, it's just, it was, I think one of the best episodes of anything that I've ever watched. I mean, Paul Dini, the, the writer, I mean, he just nailed it. I You got this guy who's trying to find a, a cure for his wife. She's got this degenerative disease, and he, he wants to put her in uh, suspended animation until a cure can be found. He's just, you know, he's selfless. He's, he's trying to save her life. And, you know, these jerks break into this lab, and they find out that he's using, you know, their company equipment. I'm guessing he works for the same company. And he's, he's, you know, they find out he's trying to, to save his wife, Nora, and there's a big fight. There's a fire. He's exposed to the all kinds of stuff in the lab, probably the same cryogenic solution. And, I mean, it he, he can't survive outside of, you know, his 
big crazy cryo mech suit he can't survive above freezing temperatures and he is a, a grieving man he he wants to take revenge on mr ferris Boyle for ruining everything ruining everything he ever had everything he ever wanted and i mean i i didn't find out until just a few years ago even though mr freeze is trying to come off as this emotionless cold unfeeling unthinking character he actually cries he sheds a tear at the end of the episode and i found that out i mean they don't have they still don't have uh, audio description tracks to this show. I mean, I love the show as it is. I mean, I have been a fan for over two decades, but I mean, I would love to actually watch the show the way that it was meant to be watched. I mean, I love the fight scenes and all, but I mean, Batman doesn't talk very much. So unless I have someone there descri describing what's going on to me, I, I don't know what's going on very, very much. So... It would be cool if uh, HBO Max or the folks at Warner Brothers would would uh, add some audio description tracks. Well, add audio description tracks to every single episode, and that would take a while. But oh boy, I, I would uh, I would very much enjoy that. So yeah, this will have to do for the Batman vid. I would like to go into other videos in the future in which I talk about you know episodes that. I really liked maybe some episodes that scared the pants off of me when I was a kid because there are a few of those feet of clay on leather wings come to mind but uh, we'll save that for another video um, it's been a lot of fun talking about this show and I mean like I said movies are, are fun but there's just something about episode after episode you get a lot more story that way so I can't say may the force be with you. It's not a Star Wars video. Uh, may your batarangs strike true. May the bad guys stay in Arkham. Well, that wouldn't be a very fun episode if they did that. Never mind. I'll hear you later. Bye-bye.